audiophiles. We are audiophiles. I'm still asking, guys, what is an audiophile in the modern world? I'm very, very old. In, in the old days, it meant, you know, you, you liked your equipment and you was in. Uh, now I'm audiophiles uh, picking up cheap stuff. And uh, it, it, they, I don't know what they think an audiophile is. Uh, and they keep telling me, I don't, you don't know what you're talking about because do you know what I think audiophiles are now? Someone who tells you what you should listen to. <laughs> Unbelievable. I think in, last time I said, uh, did I mention? I think I said, I wouldn't go next door and tell my mate, you, you know, you, you, you've picked the wrong uh, wife because I don't fancy her. And I wouldn't, I don't, I think Picasso paints like a two year old. People pay millions and that's fine. So apparently, and I'm told it's about colors and all this and I don't appreciate it, that's fine. And it's a bit like that in the Audifier, in the Audifier world. But you, this is how it is and you got, you like it. And if you don't, you, you're deaf. It's not, it's, it's art. Just get it, audio is an art. You've just got to like, if you buy a speaker, you're, you're not doing it because someone else said that's how it sounds and you sit there, I don't like it, but do you know what? That's an audio fire quality speaker. It's because you, yeah, oh, I feel good. I really like that. That's all it is. doesn't really matter and that's the problem. You, you'll, you'll see this when you start in the world of audio. If you're really, really young, I don't really get that many people who are like under 20, who's, but if there's any of you out there, that's according to stats, just starting, you, the problem is, you. When you get your first speaker, any speaker will sound brilliant. And then you need to start spending more and more and you're looking for something that's better and better. And it's, it's an, it, there's a holy grail that does not exist. And you're always looking for the holy grail. And you're just, it's a never ending search for that. Something that sounds a bit better, even though whatever you got in the first place sounded great. Remember, you know, you got, the turntables that are still, apparently that is, aren't doing a resurgence. And, and how did that all start? When they, did, you know, when they used to play their 78s on, 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 on with the, the big horns and uh, on, well, I'm, I'm talking about, you know, what it looked like, it looked like a big trumpet, and it was really compressed and it was a very narrow frequency response, blah blah blah. They loved it. Do you know why? Because that was their reference point. It's all about reference point. That's the problem. I'm, I'm warning you guys. If you carry on watching other people's videos, not with mine, don't watch too many other videos because the more reference points you get the more picky you'll get, and suddenly you need to start spending more and more. But that's why we love audio. God, I've got no idea what I was talking about. Let me say, what's my notes, Sal?